sneaky lunch bag for not a sneaky quickie. We're going to call this a sneaky quickie midly. Okay. Now, what do you do if you want to choose a Linux distribution? What do you do? So you've come from Windows or Mac or wherever, or Android or a phone, and you want to get a computer. What do you do? But you don't want Windows 10 because it does stuff and takes all your stuff and does all your keystrokes and Mac OS is like so uniform and you don't like it. And you really fancy doing a bit of Linux. Okay. So today we're going to have a little look and see what the options are open for you. Now I'm going to show some certain things here from their websites. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. In a few days time we're going to show you some more about this and we'll go from there. Okay. So I've got some time. Okay. So firstly, Ubuntu is the most widely known version of Linux. And it works very, very, very well. Yeah, it does. It just works really, really well. You can't knock it. If you put the disk in your machine or the USB stick, you will install it and you'll be ready to do basic stuff. All the installation stuff is there for you. You'll have your uh, LibreOffice be there for you. Anything you want basically will be there to play movies and that. You will have to do some other stuff to play DVDs and stuff. But that's if you go to the websites, <coughs> sorry, the communities, that will show you how to do it. And it's really easy, and I'm going to show you over the next week or two. Okay, So that's really nice and easy. So Ubuntu is really easy. But there are lots, lots and lots of other distributions based on Ubuntu. So we go to, ooh, what should we say? Many, many, many. But what is Ubuntu based on originally? Okay, It is Debian. Now, Debian came about millions of ions of years ago in the uh, PC world, or computer world, and it has very, very good stuff. It's, it's really, really good. The latest stable release is 8.7. Now, when you download Debian, if you do the stable release, the software will be older. Yeah, older, yeah. They also do pure blends. I didn't see them today. So you get Debbie Chem, Debbie Games, Debian Edu, that's an education version. There were some other guys have remixed this to make their own versions, and we'll come to that another time in the next couple of weeks, I think, more than anything else. Debian Junior for children, Debian Multimedia, Debian Science. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Next. Okay, back to Ubuntu. Next. Linux Mint. Based off the Ubuntu, but lots and lots of people really like it. Now, I'll be really honest with you, I've never got on with it totally properly really it just didn't work for me per personally but bear in mind i've been using linux for a bleeding long time okay a bleeding long time originally it just didn't work on the hardware i had at the time i loaded it up on one of my machines a few weeks ago it just worked you put it in everything works no problem that's what it says now under linux mint you can get a cinema edition which is a desktop a mate edition which is a desktop etc 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 you get kd you get whatever you like to but i've not seen an enlightenment version that'd be nice guys yeah yeah linux mint really easy to use what, what more can i say okay next manjaro the easy way to go to arch now controversy controversy if you're a pure arch user you don't like Manjaro or these forks. You don't like them. But I'm sorry, Arch guys, at the end of the day, I'm lazy. I'm really, really lazy. And yeah, if I want Arch, I'll just go and get Manjaro or Manjaro or Minjaro, Manjaro. You get whatever desktop you want to. It's a rolling release. Okay. The last time I installed it on my main desktop machine, it went bang. But hey, it was, you know, it was no big deal. Because I'll back up everything. As you should. You know what I mean? As you should. Okay. Next one, Zorin OS. I would say the little boys from the black stuff, but they are now the, must be in their 20s now, the 20s guys in their black, from the black stuff from Ireland. They started doing this years and years ago when they was at school, as far as I'm aware. Zorin is supposed to be, <clears throat> make it easier for you to go and use Linux. It makes it like Windows-like, Windows-like. Yeah, I know. Windows like. So we go to download Zorin, have a look. Why not? We're here. You get three options. You get core, which is free, or you can help them and pay a few euros, because remember, Ireland uses euro and ultimate. 
It's only about 10 and 15. Shall I just click on business and see what happens? Okay. Blah, 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 blah. 15 euros. That's about 12 squids now, isn't it, really, to be honest with you. That's not a lot of money, really, is it, for a bit of support or get all the stuff you want to do. Or well, at the end of the day, just go and get the core, which is free, and just add the stuff you need. And I've used it recently, as you've seen some videos a while back. It just works. Just It does what it says. It does what it's supposed to do. So it's really nice to use. I like it. But what else do we have if you want a different distribution? What about Open Sousa? Oh, yeah. Tumbleweed or Leap. What do you want? So if you get Tumbleweed, you get the newest Linux packages of our rolling released in super duper, but it may break. Or you go to Leap on a regular release. What do you want to do? Tumbleweed, Leap. Tumbleweed, Leap. Tumbleweed, Leap. I've tried both of these. They just work. I wouldn't say they were for old machines, but they're fine. Super duper. What more can you say? Okay. Next. Right. One of my old faves from a long, long, long time ago when it first started. PC Linux OS. It's different. It, it just, it's just different. What more can I say? It's just different. It does things a lot differently, but not. But it's really, really super duper. And in installing more stuff into repositories so you can have the latest and greatest stuff some people may not like it uh, i like it it's all right yeah, yeah. I, i'll be really honest with you there's not many linux, distribu linux distributions i don't like really yeah. but the uh, horses for courses at the end of the day isn't it you have to choose an distribution that suits you but what suits you you know what suits you okay next solus we're back to Ireland again. Oh, now, Ike started many, many moons ago. I remember doing some videos for his stuff when he was working for the Mint distribution. And he was, as far as I'm aware, he was doing the LMD stuff, the Linux Mint Debian edition. And he was, and that was a really long time ago. And I remember when he started doing this, and it was a solace, and it changed, and blah, blah, blah. And I'd done a video on it recently, and it's really, really nice to use. Budgie, I'm not sure on yet, but he's still working on it. But it's nice. It's great. I love it. Great. What more can I say? Next. Arch. Da, da, Arch Linux is a purist distribution. Now, you don't expect too much help if you can't install it correctly, okay? Yeah. Just... Just look up and, and read lots before you try installing it and adding all the stuff. Because you ask for some help, sometimes people will help you, other times they won't. So just look before you install. Yeah, enough said. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Puppy Linux. Yeah. Puppy Linux. Older machines will work super fine. Now, the latest one here is Tarpup64. Okay. Right, I've tried it. It's not super duper at the moment. It's still got some little bugs in it, but it works super fine. But if you've got older machines, it's a 64-bit, which most should be by now. 32-bit should be like, you shouldn't have one now. If you've got a 32-bit machine, you should be looking at a completely different distribution selection. Boom. Selection. But yeah, Puppy Linux does what it says on the tin. Installed it. It will run super, super fast. Faster than any distribution you've had. But it does have some drawbacks, yeah? But we'll come to that in another time. As you can see what I'm going with this, we're going to do lots of these distributions on single videos. Yeah, can you see where I'm going now? Yeah, I'll call you to it, yeah. Next. Gentoo. Oh, bloody. Oh, Gentoo. I know lots of you said this. Oh, bloody Gentoo. Gentoo. But once you get it installed, it's bloody fantastic. Once it is installed... I remember millions of years ago, when some of you weren't born, okay, installing Gen 2 on a machine which, yeah, we won't even go that way. It took me 36 hours to install Gen 2, okay. 36 hours! I was doing my head in! But that was a really, really long time ago, and I had more hair, and it wasn't grey or anything like that, and I don't think smartphones are invented, actually, to be honest with you. Yeah. 
But we'll come to that one another time. Okay, next. Tiny core. Tiny core. Yeah, tiny core. Right, the reason it's called tiny core is because it's so bloody small. Okay, there's three versions you can download. It's also available for Raspberry Pi and other ARM stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show some screenshots while I'm here. So let's go here. Here's the installer. Okay, screenshot. We're going to do a video on this very soon, actually. I've got this loaded up ready to go. But yeah, tiny core. I love it. Nice, isn't it? Oh, yeah. If you want a something very, very, very minimal, Tiny Core is a way to go. It's like a GUI version of building a distro you want to use. Yeah. Just, a, yeah, that's what it is. So you start with the basic GUI. So you get this down here, that exit, start, app menu, blah, 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 blah. But we'll show you more when we do the video. Okay. Goodbye, screenshot. Okay. Goodbye, Tiny Core. Right, Trisquell. Right, this is going to take up a little bit of time. Trisquell is GNU Linux because it is totally free, so there will be no, 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 paid for or so we say, unfree apps in the system. Okay, and it runs really, really nice. But you can add them if you want to. So, is there a purpose for it? Oh, yeah. Because some people just want that sort of system. That's the thing with Linux. You can actually do whatever you want to do. If you want to run a system that you want to run, you just do it. But please choose one that suits your tasks. Yeah, I know. Next. Nopix. Now, I cut my teeth on Nopix for Linux many, 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 many moons ago. I must have... Well, the first time I used Nopix must have been around about... 2001 maybe and it was a live cd it was there was no dvds in days okay and you burn it to a disc and you put it in a disk drive all of a sudden you had a full desktop of every application you wanted and at the moment at the time i was running windows 98 i went whoa 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 hold on camel how can this be true okay today it's now two gigabytes but them days it just fit on the cd and that's how I got into Linux many moons ago. It's nearly 20 years ago. My God, I'm so old. I can't believe it. So if you want to give Nopix a go, that would be a really good good way to go. Just burn it to a CD or a flash drive. Just plug it in and have a play. Oh, no. But that's how I got into it. Okay. Next, CentOS. Now, some of you may have heard of Red Hat, which is for, you know, stuff, you know. If you want that sort of environment, it's pretty old school, okay? But it is really, really, really stable and solid. And if you're doing it in a, an environment where you need a stable and solid, solid environment, that's the one you should go for. Yes, I had some, had some apple juice today. I'm really sorry. Okay. Okay. Anyway, we're doing all these soon. Okay. These are all the stuff we're going to do soon. Now, Zubuntu. This is the thing I use for a day to day. Yes, it's based on the Ubuntu or Ubuntu. But it just suits me. It just really does. I forgot to about. System requirements. What's that system requirements for Zubuntu? Only 512 mega RAM? Yeah, it runs super fine. No bleeding problem. I love it. Get some screenshots. Well, I could just show you. You just watched my desktop, didn't you? Get some screenshots for you. That's how the basic one works. That's how it looks. I oh, know. Anyway. Before we finish. Chakra. I've used Chakra quite a few times. Okay. It's rolling release. Nice. It does what it says on the tin. It's totally different the way it uses it and stuff. I don't know. This one's KDE one. I must download that and use it. Yeah. Anyway. Finally. Now, some of you may know Steve. Yeah, you know you are Steve. He's remastered his own distro, Bobuntu. Or is it Bobuntu? Steve, hit me up. What's it called? I don't know. He just remastered it. Some people actually quite like it. If you want to remaster your own version of anything, you can do it. That's the thing with Linux. You can do whatever you want to do with it. You know? So Steve said, well, I'll make my own distro. Blah, 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 blah. Off he goes. He's done it. He's putting his little bar here and stuff like that. Yeah, he's put some desktops in that he wants to use, like World of Tanks. He plays World of Tanks like me. I play more War Thunder personally. But hey, what do you do? 
But yeah, that's what you can do. So you can go download Steve's stuff if you want to. He's got all the stuff installed in it already. Or you could just go to Linux Lite or something. Whatever you want to do. I know. Fantastic. And there's my Zubuntu desktop. I did used to have a little uh, pop-up bars down here and up the top there and down the side. But at the end of the day, I ain't got time for them, really. I've got work to do. You know what I'm saying? Of course you do. I don't mean. Yeah. Quick video or medium video for tonight. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.